So at its heart, Battlecry is a team action combat game. It's important to us that when you play the game, it feels responsive and fun to drive. Class design is another one of our big focuses. We want each class to feel unique and fulfill a specialized role on the team. We're going to be taking a look at three of those classes today. We'll start with the Enforcer. The Enforcer is a melee class. He has the highest health in the game. He can extend that health even further by transforming his mechanical sword into a shield. Next up is the Tech Archer. The Tech Archer currently has the longest range out of any class in Battlecry. She's incredibly deadly at a distance, but is very vulnerable up close. Learning how to use the map to your advantage is key to unlocking her full potential. The last class we're looking at today is the Duelist. The Duelist revolves around stealth and blinding speed to overwhelm their opponents. Duelists have incredible damage potential, but are extremely vulnerable, sporting some of the lowest health in the game. Land Grab is a territory-based game type. There are three territories active on the map at any given time. When your team captures a territory, it will begin draining of points, adding to your team's score. Once a territory is drained completely, it will move to a new and random location on the map. Movement is a really big part of the game. One unique feature we have is Grapple. You can use Grapple to swing from point to point, covering the map very quickly. Moving on to combat, now we have a one-on-one -on -one fight between two enforcers. Enforcers use their shield to absorb damage and build adrenaline. You can spend that adrenaline to supercharge your attacks. Here the yellow enforcer uses that fact to take down her enemy. When you have a full meter of adrenaline, you can activate the enforcer's ultimate ability. The ultimate enforcer is virtually unstoppable and one of the scariest things in the game. Right here this red enforcer activates his ultimate to take down multiple enemies and capture territory for his team. You can change your class mid-match. Here this player switches over to the Tech Archer. An archer's offense primarily relies on firing his bow at range. They can also use their sonic shot ability to knock back opponents. Their range makes archers great at attacking and defending territory in land grab. Here this archer activates his ultimate to control this territory for his team. Duelists excel at one-on-one -on -one combat. They can deal a lot of damage very quickly. The duelist's offense often revolves around stealth. Here, this duelist uses stealth to sneak behind enemy lines and pick off a single target. Stealth is also extremely useful as an escape tool. Here, this duelist takes down an enemy archer no problem. Out of nowhere, he's attacked by an enemy enforcer. He gets out of the situation, activating stealth to escape. Here's one of the cool social features we're working on in the game. At the end of every match, you'll be able to commend players on your team or the enemy team. Beta for Battlecry will begin in 2015. We're going to start in Australia and New Zealand and open it up to the rest of the world from there.
Hi everyone, I'm Lucas Davis, Design Director at Battlecry Studios. Battlecry is an online action game with team-based combat and intense tactical warfare. Face off against opponents in the war zones and battle for the glory of your nation. Select players in Australia and New Zealand have already joined us in our alpha, and soon the rest of the world can join them in battle. Tonight we are pleased to announce that we are accepting worldwide signups for Battlecry's global beta at battlecrythegame.com. And sign up now before June 18th and you'll receive priority beta access as well as a special in-game reward. We look forward to seeing you in the war zone this fall. Until then, here's a look at how Battlecry has evolved over the last year and a sneak peek at our brand new warrior faction, the Han Republic.